Hello everyone. Welcome to MS Safety webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to deploy PowerShell script to Windows 10 device using Intune. We can use the Microsoft Intune management extension to upload PowerShell scripts in Intune. Once we upload the PowerShell script, we can run the script on Windows 10 devices. The Intune PowerShell script deployment is done using the Intune management extension agent. This is an additional agent that gets automatically deployed to Intune managed devices. Intune management extension agent will check with Intune every hour if any changes are made to the script or assigned any new script. Even this process will run on the machine after every reboot. After we assign the policy to the Azure AD groups, the PowerShell script runs and the run results are reported. Once the script executes, it doesn't execute again unless there is a change in the script or policy. If the script fails, the Intune management extension agent retries the script three times for the next three consecutive Intune management extension agent check-ins. So without wasting time, let's get started. Sign in to the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center as a Global Administrator or an Intune Service Administrator. We can access Microsoft Endpoint Manager using the URL https endpoint.microsoft.com On home page, click on Groups. We have created one test device group named TasteWin Client. Click on Group Name. Under Manage, click on Members. We can see the Windows 10 device named LabWin10-CLI01 is listed as a member of this group. We will use this group for assignment. Later, we will check the result on this Windows 10 device. Click on Devices. Click on All Devices. Under Policy, click on Scripts. Click on Add and select Windows 10 and Later. Type a meaningful name for this policy. I'm giving name PowerShell Taste Script. Enter a description for this PowerShell script. Uh, this setting is optional but recommended. After entering the description, click Next. Browse the PowerShell script by clicking over here. Let me select the script which I have created. The script must be less than 200 KB in size. In our case, the size is only 1 KB. This PowerShell script will create a folder on C drive with the name Test Folder. Let me select the script and click on Open. Select Yes to run the script with the user's credentials on the device and choose No which is selected default to run the script in the system context. Many administrators choose yes. If the script is required to run in the system context, then choose no. Select yes if the script must be signed by a trusted publisher. Select no if there isn't a requirement for the script to be signed. Here we will not change anything. We'll keep those three options are the default settings. Click Next to continue. Under Included Groups, click on Add Groups. We will select our test group Taste Win Client. Click on Select and click on Next. In Review plus Add, we can see a summary of the settings we configured. Select Add to save the script. Wait for confirmation message. 
we can see the message powershell test script created successfully and we can see another message uh, let me show that we can see the another message powershell script successfully assigned uh, let me close it here we can see our script and as you can see it is uh, assigned now the policy is deployed to the test group let's go to a windows 10 device to test the result first of all i'm going to open file explorer go to c drive check for the folder with the name test folder at the moment as we can see we don't have any folder with that name Let's manually perform the sync with Intune. Let me click on sync to initiate the manual sync. Okay, sync was successful. Uh, let's go to file explorer again and let's refresh. As you can see, we don't have the folder. So now I'm going to restart this Windows 10 VM. Let me restart this. After restart, let's uh, again sign to this Windows 10 computer using the credential of our user test user 2. First of all, I'm going to open File Explorer. Go to C drive. And here we can see we have a folder named test folder. That means the PowerShell script has been executed successfully using Intune. Sometime it will take few seconds to execute the PowerShell script after the restart. We can use a cmtrace.exe to view the log files. Already I have copied cmtrace.exe file to this machine. Let's go to program data folder. Uh, double click on Microsoft. Double click on Intune management extension. Double click on log folders. All Intune management extension agent logs will be stored under this location. Double click on Intune management extension. If it opens in Notepad, then you need to open this log file using cmtrace.exe. Now let's search for logs related to PowerShell script. Let me scroll upward. And here we can see the information about PowerShell script. You can see this is the PowerShell script. And inside we have mentioned that we need to create one folder with the name taste underscore folder on a C drive. So we can notice that the new folder is created on a Windows 10 device from the log files. Now uh, let me close this. And suppose if you are not able to open this log file in uh, cmtrace.exe, you need to right click here, click on properties and click on change. And instead of not paid here, you need to select configuration manager trace log tool. Okay. So this is how you can open the log files using cmtrace.exe. Uh, let me perform manual sync with our Intune as well. Let's click on sync. Now let's go back to endpoint manager. Now suppose if you want to delete existing PowerShell script, that time you just need to right click on your existing PowerShell script and select delete. On confirmation window, click OK. Yes, I want to delete this PowerShell script. And we can see the confirmation message. Profile PowerShell test script deleted successfully. So this was just an example of PowerShell script deployment with Intune. You can use your own custom PowerShell script with Intune. That's all for this video on how to deploy PowerShell script to Windows 10 device using Microsoft Intune. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.